I once heard that we have a leap in numbers of heartbeats in our lifetime. While our heart rate increases when we do sports, having a lower resting heart rate could signify to live longer. If you stay until the end of this video, you will find out why. The question is, how do you want to spend your remaining heartbeats? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Andres Carbonell, and today we're going to talk something vital for our health, which is our resting heart rate. Heart rate is the number of times your heart beats per minute. Your resting heart rate is calculated when you're relaxed, at rest, and with enough time after doing any physical activity. According to the American Heart Association, an average adult will have a resting heart rate between 60 and 100 BPM. But in the case with for athletes, they can have as low as a 40 BPM. So the more sports and the better your aerobic capacity, the lower your resting heart rate. And your resting heart rate can be also affected by stress, anxiety, hormones, medications, or any different factors that affect your health in general. So you're asking yourself, why does it matter? Your resting heart rate is a window to your heart's health. The lower your resting heart rate, the more efficient and strong your heart is. What you're seeing right now is data collected from my Garmin smartwatch. I got it January last year, 2023, and the first measurement I have of my resting heart rate was in January 29, which is 55 beats per minute. Now, during August, for example, and September and October, it went all the way to 51 BPM. So my resting heart rates went lower in around September and October, which is when I was training the most for this half marathon. Then later in November and December and Christmas, I trained a little bit less. And if we measure today, well, in January, now it's 51 beats per minute. So we can see that I was always been a very active person. So I was doing sports, but last year I was start training way more into my cardiovascular fitness. And you can see how my resting heart rate went in a year from 55 BPM to now 51 BPM. Um, might not be such a big change, but I think it's reflecting how much I have been training and how my cardiovascular fitness have increased and my stamina, which I can feel it, I think it's good. So now let's see maybe in a year if it keeps going lower, if I can continue this pace of training. In general, increasing your aerobic capacity and stamina will lower your resting heart rate. It is recommended to train in zone two heart rate training, which will allow you to improve your cardiovascular health and strength. Also, having a good diet, managing your stress, and having enough sleep, so at least eight hours per day, will also improve your general heart health in general. So if you're interested in learning how to train in zone two, you can watch one of my last videos where I explain briefly how to get into this type of training. In general, if your resting heart rate decreases over time gradually, but becoming more healthy and more active over time, the better is for your health. What you need to take in consideration is that your resting heart rate will increase with aging. So there's nothing better to offset the effects of aging than a good cardiovascular training protocol. So why this happens? The more we train, the more efficient and strong our heart will be. Actually, for athletes, the hearts get a little bit bigger, so it becomes more efficient on pumping blood. If you remember about the formula of cardiac output, it's heart rate times stroke volume. So if we have a increased stroke volume, which is basically the amount of blood that is pumped per beat, we require a lower heart rate to feel the same demand. So the more efficient our body is and the more efficient our heart is, the lower the heart rate that is required and the less effort it needs to, to do to maintain the general processes of the body at rest. The average woman have a higher resting heart rate than the average men. The reason is because men tend to have bigger hearts both literally and figuratively and that's why we have a lower resting heart rate in general. 
Many studies have shown that having a higher resting heart rate is associated with higher risk of heart attacks or other cardiovascular diseases. This could be possibly due to the high blood pressure or over sympathetic activity in the body. So this is it guys. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and like it if you think it's interesting. And I hope this convinces everyone to keep a very good healthy lifestyle and to start doing sports and increase your aerobic capacity today. Also, many studies have shown that higher lower heart rate variability or HRV will also affect your general health and increase the risk of atherosclerosis or other cardiovascular diseases. If you never heard about heart rate variability, which is different from what we talked today about resting heart rate, please watch this video where I talk about heart rate variability or HRV.